Hello, good afternoon. So in this section, uh, we are discussing regarding uh, some more important problems uh, related to static equations of equilibrium. So here I am uh, using one cylindrical with the frame problem. It's also a very, very important problem expected in the uh, examinations. So a 600 cylinder, x is 600 newton, a 600 newton cylinder, a 600 newton cylinder is supported is supported by frame by the frame by the frame b c d shown in figure b c d shown in figure the frame is hinged at d the frame is hinged at d hinged at d determine the reactions determine the reactions determine the reactions at a comma b c and d a b c and d this is here This pier is connected at A, B, C. P, C, D is a frame. B, C, D is a frame. P, C, D is a frame. B, C, D is a frame. This radius. Radius equal 150 mm. Radius equal 150 mm. This horizontal distance is 300 mm. And the vertical distance is 600 mm. Vertical distance is 600 mm. So this is the given problem. In this given problem, it's a 600 Newton cylinder. It is a cylinder inscribed in the frame. The cylindrical weight is 600 Newton and it is subscribed in the frame of BCD. BCD is a frame. This is shown in figure. The frame is hinged at D. This is the hinge point D. So determine the reactions at A, B, C and D. So now we are having two components. One is cylinder and the one is frame. We have to write the free body diagram for both the components. First I am going to write Free body diagram for cylinder. When we are writing free body diagram for cylinder, we must know the free body diagram constant. The self weight of the cylinder acting towards gravity. So, the cylindrical weight is 600 Newton. The 600 Newton force, 600 Newton force acting towards gravity. 600 Newton. And next, for every action, there is a equal and opposite perpendicular reaction. This sphere having contact surface A, B, C. All these three contact surfaces are, these two contact surfaces are purely horizontal and B is purely vertical. So, first the contact surface A develop opposite reaction or A, or A. And this contact surface B develop opposite reaction that is RB and another one contact surface RC, RC. This is the free body diagram. Here how many forces? 1, 2, 3, 4 forces. This is the free body diagram FBD for sphere, for sphere or cylinder or cylinder. Next, I want to consider frame free body diagram. You must consider the frame free body diagram. But you have to observe the given thing. Don't consider A, B, C, D. Consider only B, C, D. Because it is mentioned that 
BCD is a frame. Mention that BCD is a frame. So, only consider frame. So, this is the point B, and this is the point C, and this is the point D, and also the origin, origin of sphere. So, here you are having this sphere, sphere, and this sphere is having radius. Sphere is having radius of 150 mm radius of 150 mm and consider this height so this is d right this is point d now when we are focusing the reaction so the cylinder the cylinder the frame is existing force in this direction therefore on the frame reactions are developed in opposite direction so it will create opposite direction but in case of sphere it is towards because the contact force will develop opposite reaction similarly in case of frame it will generate opposite directional forces similarly here similarly here and also we have to consider the weight weight of the cylinder also existing on the frame weight of the cylinder is also existing on the frame that is in downward direction 600 newton 600 newton and also there is a hinge 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 this is the hinge hinge that is rd rd for this we have to compute the inclination say alpha this is the free body diagram fbd for fbd for frame frame because here we consider it is rb and this is RC and this is RD. So BCD, BCD is the frame. RB, RC, RD. The reactions are developed to the opposite to the frame. But in case of sphere, only three contact surface. Similarly, in case of frame, three contact surface. Out of three contact surface, one purely vertical, one purely horizontal, but one is inclined. We must determine the inclined angle. How to determine this alpha? This alpha, this is known 150 mm. How to de determine this distance? This distance is computed. I know the entire depth. The entire depth is 600. 600 minus this radius. The entire depth is known, right? The entire depth is known. This is 600 mm. This is 600 mm. And this radius. This radius is 150 mm. Then this height can be computed using 600 minus 150. What is the value? 600 minus 150? 450. 450. This height is 450 mm. Therefore, apply trigonometric function tan alpha. That is tan alpha equals opposite by adjacent. Opposite is 450. Adjacent is 150. Alpha equal tan inverse of 45 by 15. 3. So what is the angle? 70? 71.56 71.56 Alpha equals 71.56 degree So this is 71.56 degree Here also the same value 71.56 degree Resolve this inclined force in two direction First the direction of the force With respect to origin away Represent away away it will become inclination angle is cos. This for RD cos 71.56. RD sin 71.56. RD sin 71.56. This is the free body for frame. Now we solve one by one. You just observe both the thing, frame as well as cylinder. So first consider free body diagram of cylinder. Consider FBD of cylinder cylinder FBD of cylinder apply sigma fx equals 0 for this system apply sigma fx equals 0 for the side convention right side forces are positive left side forces are negative so you are getting this is left side acting minus RC therefore it's a right side acting one RC less RC less rc minus ra equals 0 
therefore we are getting R A equals R C. We are getting R A equals R C. Take equation number one. Take equation number one. For the same, apply sigma f y equals zero. For same cylinder, free body diagram, apply sigma f y equals zero. All upward forces are positive. Downward forces are negative. Therefore, we are getting plus R B plus R B minus six hundred because minus six hundred is acting in downward direction equals zero. Therefore, R B equals six hundred newton. We got R B value as six hundred newton. R B value as six hundred newton. Next, consider free body diagram of frame. Consider free body diagram of frame. Consider F B D of frame. When you are considering F B D of frame, the same concept applies. If my F X equals zero first, all right side forces acting are positive, left side acting forces are negative. Therefore, minus R C minus R C plus R D cos seventy one point five six equals zero. Minus R C plus R D cos seventy one point five six degree equals zero. Both the forces are uh, Unknown R D and R C both are unknown. Hence, take equation number two. Next, apply sigma F Y equals zero. Here also the same convention is same. All upward forces are positive and all downward forces are negative. In this frame, we are having uh, one, two, three vertical forces. Out of three vertical forces, two are acting in downward direction, negative sign convention, and one is acting in upward direction with positive sign convention. Therefore, plus R D. Plus R D sine seventy one point five six plus R D sine seventy one point five six minus six hundred minus six hundred minus R B. But the value of R B is known. That is also six hundred minus R B, right? So, but the R B value is known. Consider this six hundred, which is equal zero. Therefore, we are getting R B equals six hundred six hundred thousand two hundred. You take. On the right hand side, it will become positive. So 1200 divided by sine 71.56. What is the value of R D? 632.45. 632.45 newton. Therefore, R D value is 632.45 newton. Now I know the R D value. Substitute this R D value in equation number two. In equation number two. We are getting R C value. We are getting R C value. R C equals uh, R D value six thirty two point four five cos seventy one point five six. What is the value of R C? Two hundred newton. Two hundred newton. R C value is two hundred newton. Once we know R C value from equation one, we know that R C equal R A. That is same as two hundred newton. So we got the values of reaction as R A R A R A equals R A equals R C R A equals R C R A equals R C both are two hundred newton both are two hundred newton and also the value of R B the value of R B equals six hundred newton six hundred newton and the value of and the value of R D And the value of R D, R D, which is equal six thirty two point four five newton. The entire problem is now finished with using simple steps. The ultimate aim of the problem is find the reactions at A, B, C, and D. So R A R C equal two hundred newton, R B six hundred newton, and R D is six thirty two point four five newton. This is a very simple and very very important problem. Here we have to consider two free body diagram. One associated with the cylindrical system and another one is associated with the frame system. Consider both the free body diagram and solve uh, in a simple manner using equations of statics sigma f x equals zero and sigma f y equals zero to determine the reactions developed at the contact surfaces. Thank you. It's a very simple steps. Please follow these steps. Thank you.